Hi, this is Jeannie, and today I'm going to try painting some vases. These are some ceramic vases that I've had. I have, it's kind of tall, kind of out of the, let me just set it aside. I'll, I'll start with this one first. Just a ceramic vase that I've had for several years, and I think it's it just, I guess I just don't like it anymore. But anyway, I thought I'd try painting it. Now, I'm, I'm not a painter or crafter. Um, so, you know, these are, these are not expert, you know, anything. So, I thought I would make them kind of an off-white to go to my bathroom. And uh, there are little indentions along here. And I thought, well, I'll paint it with chalk paint. And I, I might go back over it with something dark to kind of give it a little antique look or something. I don't know. But anyway, these are the paints that I found at Walmart. And the white... I mean, it's chalk paint, and I mean, they had different sizes. This is like the $1.97 bottle, and I thought that would be plenty. But the white was too white, and the, the cream was just a little bit too yellow, so I bought both, and I'm gonna mix them up. So we'll just see, you know, how that goes. It's trial and error, you know, if it works out fine, if it doesn't, <clears throat> it's no big deal. I've had these these vases a long time, but I wanted to put something in my bathroom, kind of over in the corner, and you know, the bottoms are not that wide, uh, and they're pretty heavy. I don't want something that's gonna get top heavy, fall over in the bathtub, but I thought I would uh, try this and maybe put some kind of tall grasses I don't know how much this is going to take, so I'm just I'm just guessing. Um, something like some tall grasses. You know, actually, when I put that in the, uh, it doesn't look so yellow once I put it in the in the bowl. So I may just try it. Let's just try it like this. Like I say, this is all trial and error. If I mess them up. I'm not going to cry about it. So, of course, I've wiped them off, and I'm just going to start around the bottom. I have chalk. I did chalk paint my desk a few years ago, and it turned out okay. So, but I've never tried it on glass or anything. So, I had a friend who chalk painted a lamp. So, and it turned out okay. Now it may take, I'm sure it'll take more than one coat. We'll, we'll just try this and see how it goes. Okay, well I'll finish painting this all the way to the top and then I'll come back. Okay, well there it is after one coat. It's, it's definitely gonna have to have uh, two or more coats <laughs> painting those little crevices is like painting a pineapple so we'll let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll put another coat so while this first one is drying I'm gonna go ahead and paint this next one which is larger and I can already see that I'm not gonna have enough paint especially since I decided to not mix the paint so I'm gonna have to run back to Walmart and get a couple more bottles of the ivory and I have this metallic gold. Um, I thought about when you get up to the, about here on the vase, this part is smooth. It doesn't have those little pineapple-like indentions. I thought about, you know, like putting a piece of painter's tape around that and then finishing off the top in a gold. That's just a thought. So I don't know, we'll just see see how they turn out first. Well, here's the first vase. Now, I put two coats on it. It's still gonna, let me get where you can see it a little better. It's still gonna have to have some touching up in places. And this is the larger vase where I've just done one coat. So I gotta go get some more paint, but I think one more of the small bottles will be enough. But I like the way this is looking so far. It's kind of has a 
Makes it look more like pottery versus that shiny ceramic finish. So let me go get some more paint and I'll be right back. Okay, there's the first one after it's had its two coats of paint. And I just had to touch it up in a place or two. And there's the second one, the larger one. It's dry now. So when it gets completely dry, then I'll go back and put a coat of clear wax on it. Okay, this smaller one is dry now. So now I'm gonna add, it's a water-based seals and protects. And it says brush it on with a wax brush I don't have or put it on with a soft cloth that's lint free. So we'll try this. And then it says that it dry 24 hours and then buff. reapply in several months. So it says stir it well. So just stir it up with the end of this old brush. I like the way the chalk paint looks. It gives it a, a look and a feel like pottery instead of that shiny ceramic finish that it had. So we'll just see how this works. I should have started at the bottom. I think it's going to be one of those. It's going to be hard to tell where you've been. So I'll just try to cover it all from the top and just work down. It says wipe off excess, so. So I'll just try to cover it all, I don't know. Just kind of looks like white glue, but, but it's not sticky or anything. It's, it's going on easy. I think I've gone all the way around it and we'll let that dry and do the other one when it dries and then come back tomorrow and buff it out. So the next day I just buffed them just with a soft cloth and here's the one that I put on my bathroom vanity. It's a smaller vase and I put the larger one on the edge of the bathtub and just put in like a natural curly brown twig. So that's it. You can see more information on the blog post, geniepants.com. Thank you.